Hello, Michelle. Hello. <laughs> I popped out from behind. Hello. <laughs> so we are here today. Our original plan was yes. to be with Wyatt and Jasmine. However, I talked about draft horses versus lighter horses and mm -hmm. what the differences are. If you saw that notification on Facebook, that was the plan. Yep. Fortunately, weather happens, weather changes, weather happens. Yep. and plans change. Oh, hi, Millie. Yes. So we, are here. <laughs> we thought we'd have a nice, relaxing room and chat with everyone out there. Here in the main barn. That's right. With best exclusive and Millie, who's back there. They are besties. They're always together, and they live here in the barn. Of course, they have access, access to turn out and things like that. Great right, girls. They were just enjoying their lunch, but Millie wanted to be inside for a moment, so that's where she is. She was all snuggles for a few minutes, and then she was like, oh, I think I'm going to head outside. So we're going to wait until she comes back in. And Miss Press over here just finished her lunch. She's trying to figure out why Millie is standing right outside the door. <laughs> So let's introduce these two in case you haven't been here and you don't know our horses that well. Press exclusive, exclusive is the bay here and she is about 26 years old. So she's one of our older mares and she is a thoroughbred and was a racehorse in, back in her day. And um, she's had quite, quite the life. She raced and won over a hundred grand, um, you know, in her racing career. And then after that, she had nine foals and, um, and still somehow ended up on the slaughter truck, which is awful. It's awful. Um, ended up on the slaughter truck and she was almost trampled to death because they stuffed their horses in. And um, she had a couple broken ribs and she was just in really bad shape, but was nursed back to help at another rescue and then ended up retiring here. She came to us and now is living life here and she is just a beautiful mare. She is a snuggle bug, right? Everybody loves to come snuggle with press. Yes, and she you smells. You can't help but hug that head of her. I know. When it comes up over her door, her stall door. And she's so fluffy, especially right now. They're getting a lot fluffier, aren't you? Yes. Girl, you're a good girl, huh? Yeah. Wanna come say hi to everybody over here? What do you think? So we thought we would just chat with you all. And uh, you know, sometimes on these rainy, gloomy days, you know, we all feel, you know, kind of, yeah, don't feel like doing anything. A lot of the horses you'll see are in their stalls or in their sheds. And, um, you know, don't want to be, you know, some, some of them love the elements. And some of them are like, oh, it's too windy, I think we'll just stay inside. So we thought we'd uh, give these guys a little loving and groom them and uh, just pamper them a little bit, just like we like to be pampered on these you know, dreary days, right, Press? Let me get her a little bit. As you can see, her and Millie are both a little bit muddy. Mm -hmm. Alex is over with Millie, so. I'm way over here. <laughs> Maybe Alex can talk a little bit about Millie. I've been up there for a bit with them, but I think we all decided it's just a little too windy and rainy and gross outside, so we decided to come back in. <laughs> actually a nickname. Her full name is Millennium Leap. What a beautiful name. You know leaping? Is that why? Can we call her Millie? Oh, okay. Go ahead. And she, she goes in and out. She goes in and out. Yeah. Um, but she is 22 years old. She was born in 2000. Um, and actually what happened was her mother, who was named Tula, was a uh, saddle and she was part of a rescue that was conducted by the Point Advocate. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> and so they were both rescued. Oh, what's going on out there? I feel like we need to see what's going on. Hold on. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to pop out there maybe a little bit closer for a second if you want to see. <laughs> Hang in the doorway. was a part of a rescue that was conducted by Equine Advocates 
That was back actually in 1999. So it was before, it was a year before Millie was born. So both of them, both her and her mother, then lived at Equine Rescue Incorporated in Wallkill, New York. So similar name, but different organization. They lived there until June of 2015 when they came to our sanctuary here, Equine Advocates, later on. And unfortunately, Tallulah passed away in 2016, but we have Millie here still. That's cool. I love her. Right now, she's licking my hand. She likes the, either the salt or she likes the residue of the tree. I'm not sure. Oh, that could be it. Right? <laughs> One thing I know about Millie is she loves her head rub. Don't you? Don't you? Yeah. So, it's pretty obvious the conditions here today, we have got that wintry-esque, that precipitation coming in. Yep. It's Listen, windy. it's not all sunshine and uh, perfect weather here. Our horses have a lot of elements. It's funny that these two, they, as you can see, they're a little dirty. This is part of being a horse. Mm -hmm. Because they go they in do. and out and in and out. We give them that freedom to go in and out. And so when they're out, they get the mud. And yep. some of them, I've seen them roll in the mud, yep. which I think is maybe what happened here. <laughs> oh, definitely. Let me tell you, they love to roll and do their thing, right? Right, Russ, did Millie go in your stall? Oh, my that? goodness. <laughs> Don't you guys share? They do it's sometimes. Like, no. Not always. They sometimes. This is such nice. Oh, <laughs> Millie, what are you doing? What are you doing here, Millie? Really? Of course, you can't stop horses from getting money. No. You can't stop it. If they want to go outside, if they want to roll around, or even if they're just walking around and then all this blood and debris kind of kicks up, you can't stop it. But it is why trying to groom them when you get an opportunity to when they're inside you drop is so important because, well, they are animals and they're not going to be like perfectly groomed 100% of the time and perfectly groomed all the time. If you can continue to groom them, it's good for them because right. it keeps them Let's say you fall in the mud, you don't want that mud caked up on your body, and the horses don't want that either. So brushing that off is definitely good for their coats. Yeah. Of course, I left the brush in there. I'm gonna have to We're going to have to go find it, yes. <laughs> and then once you groom them, guess what? They're going to go out and get dirty and again. They're going to all over again. Oh my gosh, the amount of, I mean, especially our gray horses here, can't keep them clean long at all. <laughs> And it's also important to like make sure that the ground is as safe as possible. If it was like heavy, heavy rain coming in, some horses that we give turn out, like um, we have Rico and we have Dallas that, you know, kind of split their time and their days between um, their turnout area and here in the main barn. They're actually in the main barn today because it's a little too much for them to be going out. So, but they are in. But Millie and Press, their turnout area is right here, right by the barn. So they get to choose back and forth. If it got really bad, we close their doors, but right. they know what they want. They do. They do. <laughs> they know what they want. But that's because yeah, of these muddy conditions. I mean, if you see, it's just it's slippery. And then if we were to get freezing weather, especially once we get into those uh, winter months that we are right at the edge of. I mean, yeah. come on. Tomorrow, know, tomorrow's here. December? Tomorrow is December. <laughs> oh my gosh. So you don't yeah. want that freezing, you know, that the, the it will freeze that much. Great divot. So all these things we have to keep. Yep. Yeah, for now. Are we so, talking about? Do you want to be out for us? <laughs> I think she's upset because Millie's standing here. Oh, okay. Home. So they do. They are neighbors. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Maybe we'll step back in and yeah, see. <laughs> What's up, Millie? I'll pop that guy over here. All right, I've got the brush. Let's see who wants to be pampered. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're just not in the mood to be pampered, right? So 
standing outside that their turnout area is all well, mud now like on a dry day dirt and that is because um millie it's millie correct that has equine metabolic syndrome and press is at risk for it so they are a couple of our horses that their turnout areas are have no grass at all because too much grass is not good for them too many sugars they can't metabolize it Is there something you're interested in? Is there a question you have, a broader topic that you are interested in learning more about? Right. Let us know. Yeah, let's and, see. Um, if and we can look into that yeah. and hopefully cover that topic on a live in the future. Yeah, let's see if there's something out there that you'd like us to cover um, or recover, for that matter. We can always recover a topic also. Or maybe there's a resident you're like, you know what? I don't know much about them. We have, you know, about 80 equines here. Yeah. Some of them, I'm sure that we could just hang out with, like we are here with Millie and Press. And so if there's any resident here that you see on our website or see in photos, you're like, I want to know more about them. Absolutely. Let us know. And yes. we can just pick one to hang out with and enjoy some lunch with as well. Yeah, that's right. Aw, look at her. See, you're a sweetheart. Yes, she is. You're not a class bear. <laughs> no, you're not moody. Bears are known to be. They, they are. are <laughs> they do what they want when they want to do it. Right. And geldings are known to be a little bit less. What do you think? She really likes the lick. Ah. Uh, some butter on your hand or some crumbs left over? Possibly. <gasps> Hi, Press. Aww. Aww. You see what I mean when she ducks her head over? You want to try this? She might like this on her face. Oh, let's see. Sometimes she might just want to rub her head against. Mm -hmm. Hi, press, press. And also, we also. 
also love to know what your favorite live we've done so far is. Mm -hmm. That would be fun to know also. Okay. Oh, do you smell it first? The grooming tools, it's always good to, oh, I don't think she's into it. And yeah, that was good because you don't want to force something on them that they don't want because that's not good for either party here, exactly. us or the horses. But when you're grooming, it's always good to let them kind of smell. Like, okay, what is that? Get used to it. And so Press smelled it. She turned away. All right. No grooming. And it was the same we'll thing. Let her do her thing. Yeah, it was the same thing with Billy earlier. She's just why I'm not pushing this. She might just want to be well done. You know, maybe she doesn't want to be groomed, and that's okay. Eating a snack? We, it is important to groom, but at the right time. At the right time. Of course. <laughs> of course. It was the same thing with Millie earlier, too. She seemed to just want to hang out and not be groomed right now, which is fine. Kimberly says, hi, I sponsor Vicki. How's she doing? Would love to see her. Oh, Vicki's doing really well. Vicki is doing really well. We're going to have to see if we can go out there a bit. She's, I wonder how she's doing with this rain. She might be hanging out inside her stall yeah. right now. <laughs> I'm looking outside and I don't see many horses out. No, right no, now. no. I think right now she is because out there with uh, her pastor mates, Cece and Sylvia. They typically hang inside when it's raining or snowing or just all around bad weather. I'd imagine that she is like, mm, I'm not getting wet. I'm gonna I'm gonna hang inside her stall. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh yeah. I can tell you, the last I visited with Vicky, she is uh, she's she's very she's she's very sweet, very energetic, loves the attention, and boy, do those girls love to run. Oh, she's doing really it well. It is the most she's beautiful really well. thing. <laughs> it is. I love to see them run, but they love to run. Those three. Um, but yeah, she's doing well. Yeah. Thank you for asking, Kimberly. Really, girl? What do you think? Huh? Can I come snuggle with you? Another fun fact about uh, Millie, I overlooked this when I was mentioning how old she was. I mean, based on how you counted, is she technically 22? Because Millennium Leap Year was born on February 29th. So she is a leap year baby. <laughs> Afternoon, like this. What do you think, baby girl? Huh? What do you think, baby girl? You notice her body language looks good. She's listening to everything. She's hearing the wind. She's oh, yeah. hearing the cars going by. Like we said before, we've covered this before. Horses are so tuned to what is happening all around them. She's listening to her voices. She really likes her. 
tell you, this is just one of the most therapeutic and wonderful things to be out here and just love on a horse because they have so much love to give and horses feel what you feel. And so if you're loving on them, they're going to love on you back. Other things just seem to magically melt away. So, and they're doing a lot of uh, research and science behind horses and how they just by being around them help you feel better. And I totally believe that. Oh my! I feel it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should all start uh, maybe giving some. Uh, what do they call it? Not testimony is the wrong word, but like <laughs> you know, this is what horses do for me. Type thing. Look at those nice soft eyes. She's, she's definitely relaxed. Aren't we got a little bit of a lip quiver going on, don't we? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to snuggle on a nice chilly day. Well, anyone, does anybody have any questions about Millie or press? Whether it's um, commenting on this video or other videos or even just uh, sending us an email or sending us a message on any of us, our social media accounts, we would love to hear from you. Absolutely. What you want to know about. Absolutely. My baby girl. My baby girl. Well, we're glad that you're all here yeah. and you're getting to just <laughs> chill with us and snuggle with us. And <laughs> we hope you, if your weather it looks anything like this, a little gray and rainy and a little chilly, are staying warm and staying safe. That's right. <laughs> well, thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today. Yes, thank you very much. And hopefully we'll have better weather next week. Our and, fingers uh, are crossed. Yes. Yeah, yeah, then we could do some more things. And maybe we can uh, talk about the draft horse versus the light horse and get mm -hmm. to Wyatt and Jasmine. You'll get to see, meet them a little bit. And uh, yeah, we're trying to feature all of our horses, so. Absolutely. Yeah. And as we get into winter, talking a little bit about some of the things we do in the winter time. Maybe we end up Chris here. What's she doing? Aw, look at them. <laughs> Best friends. See, they're friends. <laughs> Best friends. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Yes, have a